Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. Sorry for the weird angle. I have a, a rather big box that I'm balancing my tripod on so that you guys could see, you know, me. <laughs> but if I do it from the table, it's too low and just it's just a pain in the butt. So this is going to be a spiritual haul video. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys some some new spiritual items that have recently come into my possession. This video might be a little bit lengthy because I have eh, quite a few stuff to show you. <laughs> I've been busy shopping. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I recently really bought, but I don't, it, nothing's coming to mind. So I'm sure it'll pop up and whatever, but it is what it is. So grab a snack, something to drink, get comfortable and let's talk spiritual goodies. So um, shopping is a therapy for me, not always the positive, right? But when I am not feeling good, when I need something to do, um, if I'm feeling my spiritual mojo is kind of, uh, I will go to a crystal shop or I will shop online. <laughs> I've been doing the shopping online more often now because there's no really no crystal shops up here in the desert where I live. Um, but if I make it down to work earlier than I anticipate, then I will stop at a crystal shop and that's what happened. So some of these items have, um, online stores. I will list everything in the description box. So please bear with me. I won't know what the shop stores and stuff are called. Um, but check the description box. I will link everything so you guys can go buy yourself a copy. <laughs> All right, first things first, let's talk donations. So I work at a library and every once in a while we get magical donations. Now I didn't bring every book that I brought home with me because there's quite a few, um, but I brought two that I'm really excited for and I wanted to show you guys. So um, anytime we get donations, my coworkers know me, they know that I'm into astrology, that I'm into the witchy stuff, that I'm into tarot. So if they find those types of books, they will save them for me. And that's what they did. <laughs> so amongst the pile of goodies, there was a lot of, um, um, is it, I think it's Sandra Brown. Um, is it Sandra? That's awful. The psychic, right? The, the well-known psychic. Anyway, there's a lot of her books. Um, and I don't have any of them here on my shelf, but <laughs> I collected about four of them, I think from the pile and, but I didn't bring them with me because I was like, uh, I'm not going to show those on the camera. Everyone's seen them pretty much if you know who she is. But one that I was really excited over, and I've actually already read this book. It's by James Van Prague and James Van Prague is a well-known medium. He wrote the book Ghosts Among Us, Uncovering the Truth About the Other Side. I already read this book. I checked it out from a previous library and it was a really, really, really good book. I remember um, just being amazed. I, I went through a, a huge paranormal phase where I was like, that was all I wanted to read about. And this was one of the books that I read. I highly recommend it. It talks about the other side. It talks about kind of connecting with um, with spirit and and James Van Prague's, you know, his approach to mediumship. It's really interesting. So if you're looking for a spooky read, it's not really spooky, but you know what I mean. Um, that's a really good one. So Ghosts Among Us. Um, the other one that was in the pile is The New Chinese Astrology by Suzanne White. This book, brand new, right? Um, I really, really don't pay as much attention to Chinese astrology, but I remember as a little girl, we were um, in, a, in class, we were calculating to find out what year we were. So like what animal and I believe I was uh, the one I remember going back to was I think it was the tiger. Um, but I was little, <laughs> so I didn't really know too much about it. So I snagged this book because anything astrology related I'm into, and I just thought it would be interesting to kind of look into to see what the Chinese astro astrology is. It says it's completely revised and updated to the year 2020. So just in time to see what's, what's up, right? So Chinese astrology, that one's going to be interesting. And since we're talking about books... Um, I think, I don't know if I showed this in another video, but Charming Bear, Charming Bear Gifts, and you can find them on Facebook. I'll link them in my description. Um, they sell gorgeous journals 
And so they're, I, I, I don't believe this is real leather. I believe it's faux leather. <laughs> but um, you can find these gorgeous journals on their site. Um, and they come in different colors. You can get different imagery. So I contacted them and I asked them if they had anything with moons and suns because I'm, I'm totally into the moon and sun aesthetic. And so they were like, yes, we do. What color would you like? And so I picked yellow because I was really vibing with the color yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. And I just think that yellow is just so cheery. And I think it's beautiful. So it's front and back, the moon and sun. Um, as you can see, you have this gorgeous little detail with the ties. You have a nice little tassel thing to use as your um, place mark. I've already been using it, so I've been writing in it. Um, but it's just recycled paper, and it's humongous. So this was their smaller size. Um, so as you can see, it is probably... A little bit smaller than like the eight and a half by 11 lined paper that you would see um, but I picked the smaller size because I didn't want anything huge but they do have big books so um, I believe I paid I think this one was 50 50 dollars I believe 45 or 50 something like that um, and then their larger one is I think it's 80 I think it might be 80 dollars I'm not sure so gorgeous journals and like I said I've been using mine I keep it by my bed um so yeah been loving that um okay so I went to a crystal shop down by where I used to live and when I was there I found a crow so they had these gorgeous little crow statues and I bought him because as you guys know um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been resonating with the crow energy. Um, they have been popping up everywhere for myself as well as my husband. And when, <laughs> when I walked into the store, this was literally the first thing that I saw. So I grabbed him. He's, he's super, super gorgeous, has nice yellow eyes. So I thought that he would be a nice little addition. I keep him on my bedside table um, by my bed. So love it. Um, then I ventured off into another crystal shop. I bought other crystals there too, but they were like little ones, like little tumbled stones for meditation. Um, and then I ventured off into another crystal shop and I found this gorgeous amethyst. I love amethyst. Amethyst is my birthstone. It's really good for calming anxiety. It's really good to help you with addictions. It's really good for psychic and intuitive enhancement and you know for your third eye and all of that um and there's different types of amethyst so the ones that are more pale tend to be more reasonably priced whereas like i have a dark one off to the side but I, he's too heavy <laughs> the darker amethyst like they're more just richer clarity um can be very pricey so this guy was only 30 bucks which is cheap for the size he's huge and so he's really, he's pale, but he's gorgeous. So I was like, I need you. I'm going to take you home with me. So the girl wrapped him up and I have him now and I keep him on my table here where when I do readings, he's here on the reading table. Um, another one, another thing I bought from the same shop was this wire wrapped red coral. Um, and red coral was really sentimental to me. Um, I resonate with it um, for my brother and so when I saw this gorgeous piece I thought I have to have it so it's wire wrapped she put it on a nice black cord and I wear it a lot actually I, I like to keep it close to my heart so <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool I really liked how you could see like this little piece here I just it just looks so like I don't know it just it looks I, I to me red coral looks so morbid and so I don't know just the vibration that it gives I really like it so I don't know I like it I saw I wear him and he kind of sits like right about there <laughs> people are always looking at me funny too when I wear them they're like what is that but yeah but usually they don't ask questions because you know <laughs> maybe they're afraid <laughs> okay next thing I bought um this is online stuff um so there's a, a shop called Anita's Apothecary and I was following her on Instagram and she was posting pictures of her gorgeous candles 
and I chose the Lucid Dreamer candle from her shop. Um, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me post this. The candle, I've already been using it, so it's not as pretty on the top as it used to be, but it was like full of herbs and the, the crystal sat a little bit taller. Um, but it comes with a clear quartz crystal, as you can see, and it has all these gorgeous herbs and oh, it smells amazing. Like it smells beautiful. When I, when I got the package in the mail, I could smell everything. It was gorgeous. Um, I also bought from her shop some empath oil, but I don't have it with me. I actually carry it in my purse. I put it on when I'm at work. So I bought some like essential oil. It's a, it's like an oil mixture. So she put some herbs and essential oils, but it's the, the intent for it is for empaths. And if you guys know, empaths are people who we feel other people's emotions. And sometimes we mistaken it for our own emotions. So that's totally me. <laughs> so I have that. Um, I also bought the Sacred Sage Spray from her shop. So sometimes I don't like to light sage, sometimes I like to just spray it. So it ha it's infused with, um, where did it put it? I think it's infused with black tourmaline and clear quartz. It smells so good. So what I like to do is I'll spray my space, I'll spray the reading table, I'll spray my candles that I'm lighting for intention but it's a nice way to cleanse your space with with sage, but without actually having to light the sage. So that was from her shop, and I will link her below so you guys can check her out because she has amazing, gorgeous candles. And um, I believe this one was $25, 25 or 28, something like that. Um, you know, a little bit pricey, I guess, if you consider that pricey. Um, but when you figure it's made with so much love and so much just magical vibes it's worth it so <laughs> i like to support small businesses so i'm all for that um another small business shop that i purchased from um is i think this is luna house so it's lady aquarius um is the name she goes by but luna house so she has these gorgeous candles and they're rather tall pretty good size as you could see um i think this was an eight ounce Ooh, excuse me, might be a 12, eight or 12 ounce. It's like the same size as those seven day religious candles, um, but just a little bit chunkier. Um, but I love the artwork on the candles. So I love the sticker that she puts on there. This one is lavender and lemon. It's a Covenstead candle. I light it when I'm doing my readings. Most of the candles that I buy for that purpose are for my readings, but it smells amazing. <sighs> It smells amazing and when it's lit it's really pretty because there's a lot of glitter you can't tell now because i've been using it but there's a lot of glitter and loose um lavender so when it's lit it just looks beautiful and you could probably see pictures if you scroll through my instagram i was like showing it off <laughs> so that's from her shop um and then another online shop i purchased from is um and ignite and this person actually creates these gorgeous tarot bags so the first one i purchased was this like silvery i think it's 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 like a sil to me it looks silver but i think on the shop it was labeled like a pale pink and maybe that's just a different one but mine looks silver unless i'm colorblind <laughs> But um, I really liked the material. It's it's a really velvety, soft material, and it's big enough just for you know your tarot deck. It folds over. You tie it around. It holds the cards in place, and it's just so soft. So I really liked it. And so um, she actually went out and bought more um of the yarn in this velvet material and I bought I had to buy a second one so this is the um I believe this is a teal color I don't know how it's gonna look on camera but it's it's a teal color same design so it flips over as you could see and you just wrap the tie around and tie it shut um it holds this is holding my borderless centennial smith so as you can see, it's perfect size for the tarot, but I love these deck bags. So if you're looking for a deck bag shop, someone who creates and, and they're really good ones, I highly recommend you checking out her shop. So I will link it below. <laughs> I love that stuff. 
Okay, so last but not least, we have some decks. And the, the first deck that I bought, the Bohemian Gothic Tarot 3rd Edition. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that this is one of my most favorite tarot decks. I use it all the time, especially throughout the fall and winter seasons. Um, it's a deck full of werewolves, witches, goblins, skeletons, like all of that Halloween flavor, vampires. Um, Baba Studios is the creator or the publisher of the deck. And Baba Studios is really well known for really good quality decks. Now they can be pricey, but they're so worth it. So the Bohemian Gothic Tarot was actually um, a deck that they've been selling it since I think 2007 was when their first edition came out. Um, and then when their decks go out of print, they are super expensive. So you'll find them on eBay for like 100 plus dollars. They have some decks going up towards $800. It's ridiculous. So <laughs> the Bohemian Gothic Tarot, the third edition, was still available in their shop. I believe it's still available. Um, I think it's like $45 to $50. Um, but they are running low on inventory. So they announced it on their Instagram like a week ago or two weeks ago. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy the third edition because I already own a third edition copy, but mine was a discount. I think I only paid $30 for it because it didn't, it didn't come with a box. And um, yeah, it didn't come with a box. So I purchased it like that. And when I got it, I was dumb. And I did a deck mod on it and I was like using black ink to color out, to black out the edges of the cardstock because I wanted it black. It looks really good black, but I smeared black ink on pretty much 75% of my cards. So I ruined them and I was pissed, but I didn't um, buy a second copy because I figured, well, it's meant to be right wrong. <laughs> I ended up buying another copy. So this is the third edition. It's gorgeous. It's well known for its backs, which are so different from the first and second edition. Um, I'm happy to own this one because it's fresh. It's a brand new fresh copy. It has the box. So now I have the box that goes with it. I could use the other one that I ruined as the car as a deck I read for clients now, and I don't have to worry about messing up my card stock and keep this one as, you know, safekeeping for myself. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I love about this edition is that it feels like skin. It feels like money when you shuffle it. I just, I love Baba Studios decks. They're just amazing quality. So if you're looking for a really good spooky deck, this is one to get. Um, I show off my other, my other editions. So um, I think there might be a video. I have to look if there is, but um, where I show off all of the Bohemian Gothic Tarot editions that I have have all of them now <laughs> except for the mini I don't have the mini but that's okay um so yeah you guys that's that was one of them that I ordered it came in that I'm um, really excited for and then another deck I bought is the mystic dreamer tarot this one's been around for a while it's been on my wish list for quite a quite some time um, but there was a lady who was on Facebook and sometimes I browse the Facebook like deck trade groups bad idea because you usually will always find something you want she was posting a bunch of decks that she was selling and she was taking donations for them so she wasn't really giving a listing price she was just saying donate whatever you wish and so I went on eBay and I searched mystic dreamer tarot I was searching to see how much people are selling theirs for it was going for like 20 to 25 dollars I've seen so I offered her 20 bucks and she took it <laughs> so it comes with this the the sturdy box it also comes with the guidebook which I didn't even realize it did I thought it was just the deck but it comes with the guidebook too and um I was using it earlier because I did a reading for my husband so I was using one of the spreads from here um but I love it when they come with their own guidebooks because it's kind of cool to see like some keywords for those specific images because not every deck follows right away and then the cards themselves have this beautiful backs. They have borders, but it looks like burnt paper. I don't know how to describe it, like real antique. Um, and the imagery reminds me of The Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. It's actual photos of people. So it's like real, 
real people, but um, somewhat cartoony. I don't know how, I don't know what that art style is, but I really like it. I find this really beautiful. The cardstock is pretty thin, so it's super easy to shuffle. It actually shuffles really nicely. Um, and it follows right away. <laughs> so um, look at this high priestess. So it's one of those tarot decks where if you're not a fan of Rider Waite tarots, but you want a tarot deck that is similar to Rider Waite imagery because maybe that's what you studied, this is a good one to have. Same with like the Witch's Tarot by Alan Dugan. Um, here's the moon card. I always like to look for the moon card when I buy a deck. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Three of Swords. Really pretty, really, really, really pretty cards. So I'm into it. This is gonna definitely be something I'm gonna be pulling out for client readings. I feel like this is gonna be a really good fall deck. Um, so I love it, I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, where am I gonna put you? <laughs> okay, I'll stick you over here. All right, last but not least. The Witch's Moon Box. So this is a subscription. Um, you pay, I think I pay 50, 50, 50 or 54, something like that, um, a month. And every month you get a box in the mail and inside the box are goodies and it's different every month. There's always a new theme. I've been following like the other people who will post their unboxing videos. And I'm, every single time I watch it, I'm like, I need to fucking subscribe to this moon box because it's always beautiful stuff. And I never subscribed to it before because when I was living back at my mom's house, um, I literally lived within a 20 mile radius of shops, like shops everywhere. And now that we moved up here to the desert, there's nothing up here. Mm. There's like two, one or two shops that I know of. One of them's really small. Their, their crystal collection is teeny tiny. And then another one, um, I just had someone message me today to tell me about it. It's more of like a mining shop, but they sell crystals. So I have to check that out. But because there's really not a shop within reason to go visit, except for like when I'm actually driving down, um, down the hill, um, I figured the, the subscription box is actually going to be worth my investment <laughs> plus i need like i need to be able to spend money a month because i do make money from my readings so it's like for tax purposes i do need to be spending what i'm making um and so a, sub a monthly subscription is kind of like i don't necessarily have to think about the money i'm spending it's already going through my account and i don't have to worry about it so and it's a tax write-off because i use these things so which is Moonbox? I this is not gonna be an unboxing. I've all, I've literally already opened it, um, so and I went through and I was like just in so much awe. <laughs> um, the little paper that comes with this um, box, it, it, there's like a long little pamphlet, not a pamphlet, but like a paper, two pages. It just talks about all of the details of all of the items that are included in the box, but. I curled up in bed last night with my diffuser on, which is another thing I bought was a diffuser. My husband bought that for me. Um, and I was reading the, the paper, so I don't have it in here, but yeah. So this box themed, my very first moon box was themed Aphrodite, which is funny to me because if there's, if I were to ever venture off into working with any other deities aside from God himself, would be Aphrodite. Um, I love Aphrodite. When I was a little girl, she was my favorite goddess when I was into like the whole myths. So the fact that Aphrodite shows up for my very first moon box was kind of sentimental to me. It was, it brought back memories of me being a little girl, always checking out the Greek myths and all the myth books about Aphrodite. <laughs> so, um, we have this gorgeous artwork and there's a whole bunch of information all about Aphrodite that is included in the moon box. Um, there's a sigil. So I believe, I'm not really sure, I think it goes this way. But there's a sigil and in the pamphlet it talks about what the sigil is about, what you can use it for. You could burn a candle on top of it. You could put crystals and use it as a grid. I don't really work with sigils. It's not really my thing. 
but I thought that this was really cool because the meaning behind it actually resonates with what I needed to do this month. So it's kind of cool how that works out. Uh, where do I start? Then there's a prayer, like a prayer kind of a thing. Um, that was pretty sweet. I'm not going to read it out loud because I know some people, you probably get your subs subscription boxes. So I want it to kind of be special for you, <laughs> but it's a really sweet prayer. It comes with a card. So everybody gets a different card in their box and mine was growth with the Pegasus. And it says, seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. And I love it because I have been feeling the call to take my Reiki 2 certification class. I took Reiki 1 last year. My Reiki teacher lives so far away from me now because I'm even further away from her. So I really want to take her Reiki 2 class, but I have to plan it to be a time when I'm going to be down there and like just have the means to do it. So I'm waiting for that perfect moment. So far, it just hasn't come up. But the fact that the card is saying to reach out to a mentor, um, to me, that spoke to me about taking the Reiki course, but also me seeking out maybe a possible course online or having a reading done by someone, I feel like that call is coming towards me again. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so other things in the box are herbs. So you get some beautiful, this is jasmine and it smells amazing. I love herbs because this is exactly the stuff that I put inside my candles when I do candle intentions. There's rose, raspberry leaf. This one was pretty raspberry leaf and rose so can't ever have too much of rose so i'm excited i love herbs i put them in my candles you could put them you could drop some in your bath if you wanted to and speaking of bath it also comes with some salt it's the sacred salt i think this says litha i can't read the handwriting it's a little bit difficult <laughs> <laughs> but if I had the paper, I would be able to tell you exactly what it is. It smells so good though. There's, I know for a fact that there's lavender in here. So, um, I have a nice big soaking tub and I'm definitely going to be doing this. So that was magical. Another thing is, um, oil. So it comes with, um, some oil. This is the Aphrodite anointing oil. It has some, um, it has some rose, it has jasmine in it. It has the herbs basically that you receive in your packages, but it also has a Lemurian quartz in here. He's somewhere in there, <laughs> but it says it in the description. And Lemurian quartz is super, like you can use that for um, like, uh, astral projecting or you could use it for your dream work or you could use it for connecting with extraterrestrials i mean you, you could take it beyond the universe um i mean if you want to go there <laughs> but um when they said that i was like what there's lemurian quartz in here i think it's right there uh, you're not going to be able to see it but it's a beautiful oil and it smells amazing so i love oils that was one of the reasons why i wanted this box because i like to use the oil I'll usually anoint my wrists like perfume you know I'll usually anoint my wrists sometimes I anoint the deck before I work with it I definitely use it for candles I put some of this in my husband's candle this morning so oh, it smells like rose um okay next some um incense sticks and they smell, oh, you're not, you guys aren't gonna be able to smell it, but there's some incense sticks in here. There's also some spell candles. So they're already um, pretty much anointed with, you know, the herbs and they're blessed or whatever you wanna call it. They have the intentions on them. There's two of them because this box is, an, is known for love. Love, romance, sex, all of the above, self-love. It's Aphrodite, right? So there's two candles, so I can't wait to burn them. I'm gonna do this for me and my hubs. Me and hubby. But I'm gonna wait for the right moment, so not yet. <laughs> and last but not least, this freaking gorgeous box. So um, I think, no, I don't know what the name of the shell is, but it's um, 
isn't that beautiful you guys like I have the window open so you can kind of see the sheen I don't know what kind of shell this is I, I don't have the paper but this is if this is not Aphrodite I don't know what it is right it's so beautiful so this shell and it's like the abalone oh my god <laughs> it reminds me you know what this reminds me of and I have a piece here it reminds me of labradorite right one of my favorite stones for meditation but oh my god look at that and it's a freaking box so you could use it for whatever you want look at that isn't that beautiful and inside is a gift I literally gasped when I opened this so you have this little silk bag and inside are beads now they're um it's mimicked after the mala beads okay they're like prayer beads right but it's also um described as a necklace so you can wear it as a necklace if you like oh it's nice and cold so you can wear it as a necklace um or you could use it as a prayer bead set so when you're meditating and you're like saying affirmations or you're saying like a, a, a chant or whatever you can, you know, use the beads to go along your way. It reminds me of a rosary. So these beads, these, it's, it's, um, rose quartz, pearl, freshwater pearl, and there's some amethyst in there too. The thing, the reason why I gasped, not only because it's beautiful, but when I opened it, it's funny. I kid you not. I have been searching for a mala. Um, I have a clear quartz one, but I wanted um, I wanted a, an amazonite mala, but I haven't purchased one yet. And the fact that when, <laughs> when I opened up my witch's moon box, and it had one in it, I was like, dude, it's like you it's like you ask and you shall receive, right? So I don't even need to go looking for a mala bead set now because I have another one, and this one's gorgeous. It has pearls, and the other sentimental thing about pearls is that. My brother's birthstone is pearl. So it was just, it was like literally an emotional moment for me when I opened it. It was so sweet. And that's that's the beauty of your spiritual connection is things will come into your, into your being for a reason, right? So, oh, I love it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm super excited for that. And the fact that it came in this gorgeous shell box is just like too much. I'm, I'm totally into mermaids. I love mermaids. I love, you know, all of that stuff. I just love all this stuff. So I got to figure out what I want to use this box for. I might use it for intentions. When I write, you know, if I write a list of things that I want to manifest on the full moon, something like that. But I don't know. It's just so nice. So that is the witch's moon box. That is the one for the month of May. Um, so there's a lot of little goodies in here. And I don't know, I'm just really excited. I'm gonna keep the box, I think, because it's super cute. It has moons on it, and I'm all about the moon. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's my witch's moon box. So every month, I'm gonna get one, and I can't wait. I especially can't wait for fall season when it's October because they usually have kick-ass stuff in their moon boxes, so. If you guys are looking for something like that, check it out. I'll link it in the description box. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Um, I know some of you really like to watch the <laughs> the haul videos. So, um, you know, hopefully this will inspire you if you're looking for a nice, you know, a nice candle or you're looking for whatever. Hopefully that'll inspire you and help you discover some new people who create beautiful things. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye my loves.